Well, hello, Internet. Tyler here from ProjectsInMetal.com, and I wanted to take a few minutes to record a video to ask a question about single point threading and the particular method that I learned, which was to set the compound or top slide to 29 degrees to cut a 60 degree thread. And so let me show you an example of this method so that in case you're not familiar with it you'll know what I'm talking about. This is a an image that's posted to woodworkforums.com and this is basically the method I was taught. This is obviously probably a scan from an old popular mechanics magazine from the 50s, but it you know it's showing setting your compound or top slide to 29 degrees, feeding the work in at that 29 degree angle into the or sorry, feeding the threading tool at that 29 degree angle into the work so that your your chip removal is basically only on the left hand side of the threading tool and if you've ever cut threads using the single point threading method you know that if you were to just plunge the tool straight into the work you're going to cut on both the left hand and the right hand side of the threading tool your chips are going to bind up um, because they're going to be you know bumping into each other and you're going to end up with torn looking jagged threads so this is the method I was taught, and it works really well for me. It, it produces results completely adequate for a hobby machinist's tolerances. And um, basically, my question is: Is it supposed to be 29 degrees or 31 degrees? Because I've seen over and over and over again this 29 degree example, and that's what I was taught. Here's a another website, Smithy.com, that shows. Uh, very similar setup, and it says for cutting a standard 60 degree right hand thread of the V type shape, uh, use a 29 degree setting on your compound. And here's another example from uh, yet another website that shows um, using or uh, setting your compound to 26 and a half degrees for a Whitworth thread. So basically, taking the total angle of the thread, whether it be 60 degrees or, or uh, the angle for a Whitworth thread, and cutting it in half and then taking like one degree off. So for a 60 degree thread, cutting it in half, 30 degrees, and then removing one more degree. So 29 degrees for a 60 degree thread. That's what's shown here. And so anyway, I, I got to talking to some folks on the forum about this, and Jerry was kind enough to um, start a, a forum topic because he was not taught this method. He has a lot of experience. He was actually formally trained as a machinist several years ago and uh, has a lot of experience, um, is very well respected on the site, and pretty much if, um, I mean, if Jerry has something to say, I, I, I listen. And, but he doesn't use this method. He uses a different method, and that's fine. He was taught a different way. He'd never heard of this method um, and, and kind of has the opinion that it's somewhat of an American um, method for cutting threads. So anyway, um, he's not really saying that it's the wrong way. He's just kind of curious as to what the advantage of it is. But um, a post that another person uh, commented on uh, was this uh, T.L. Griff individual, who is a newer member to the forum. Welcome, T.L. Griff. And he basically said, first of all, if the compound is um, set to, and I think he meant to say 29 and a half degrees, from perpendicular to the axis of the lathe, it will slightly cut on the right-hand side. If the intention was to clear the right-hand side, the compound would need to be set to 30 and a half degrees. Either way, the half degree increment is total nonsense. So, uh, it sounds like T.L. Griff doesn't use this method. He uses um, a slightly modified method to achieve his um, proper thread angle, and that's fine. You know, to each their own. But my question more is, if you're going to use this angle with the goal of, or this method of this, uh, you know, half angle with the goal of, of giving the right hand side of your threading tool um, the opportunity to clear the work is it supposed to be 29 degrees uh, or 31 degrees and um, so I pulled up SketchUp and made two illustrations and the first illustration on this side is showing um, let me delete this and this is showing uh, a 5 16 18 thread. Um, these are both 5 16 18, 5 16 18 threads, and they're about a half inch long. And this is a quarter inch 
uh, uh, threading tool cut to a 60 degree angle or ground to a 60 degree angle and in this example the first threading tool uh, is set so it's right at the crest of of the thread so if I was to measure with a protractor the angle of this line right here uh, I would go from the center of the threading tool and it's actually uh, this point right here not this point and you'll see why in a second if I measure over, it says basically in the lower right hand corner 24.9 or 25 degrees, roughly 25 degrees. Now the reason I did 25 instead of 29 degrees was to um, exaggerate the results that you'd see. Um, so anyway, this is basically meant to represent setting your compound at 29 degrees. And what you see is, if you use this method, uh, TL Griff seems to be correct. You're going to get chip removal on the right hand side of of the tool when what I was taught was that you would not get chip removal you would actually see a gap on the right hand side of the tool and your, your, all of your chip removal would be along the left hand side of the tool here so this was not was it, not what I was expecting so I drew a second example using uh, oops wrong button using a um, a 35 degree angle again just to exaggerate so let me show you that real quick tools protractor center of the first cutting tool and in this case it is this point not this point so click on that and then drag over and if you look again at the lower left hand sorry lower right hand corner you'll see that this is set to 35 degrees which is basically meant to be an exaggeration of the 31 degree angle and you see that the results when you place the second tool um, are that you see the gap, the expected gap that I thought you were going to get if you set your tool, uh, if you set your top slider compound at 29 degrees. You actually see it if you set your compound at 31 degrees, or in this case an exaggerated 35 degrees. So I'm a little confused because um, clearly I'm missing something. Either, either several publications that I just you know that I just showed you illustrations from are incorrect or I'm not factoring in something um, maybe it's has something to do with the, the forces that are exerted on the left hand side of the cutting tool during the threading process push it off by a degree and so when you set it at 29 degrees you actually end up totally perfectly centered at 30 degrees but that's not really the reason I was told to set it at 29 degrees I was told to set it at 29 degrees when I was learning so that you would get this this gap right here um, on the back side of, of your threading tool. So basically a, a um, almost a relief angle. But that's not what you see when you actually draw it up and um, look at a at a at a drawing of the results you would get. So anyway, for those of you that use this method, if you do use the 29 or 29 and a half degree method for a 60 degree thread, if you know what's going on or if you understand this um, process more completely than I do, please either leave a comment on the on the forum, projectsinmetal.com forward slash forum, or on the YouTube post um, that I'll be uploading this to. That way I can become more or better educated on this process and then hopefully learn something from those people out there that are far more experienced than I am. I'm just a a humble hobby machinist. So anyway, thank you for your time and for your feedback and for your information. And hopefully I'll, I'll learn something from all of you guys. Thanks.